Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I've got a special surprise for y'all. I'm changing the way that I do a tool system here in the hospital. So before I had a carry bag and it was heavy. It Even though I tried my very best to make it as light as possible, it still ended up very heavy and there's things that I couldn't take with me into the field, like let's say an extra long power cord. I like to have one of those on me at all times, but I couldn't do it because it was too cumbersome with my tool bag. Plus, I had stuff just spewing out of the sides of the tool bag if you got extra parts to take with you. Plus, with a 30, 40 pound tool bag, you have to worry because you're also now bogged down and you can't carry a piece of equipment back with you to the shop. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. So here is what I'm talking about. This, this is my original tool bag. It's an excellent bag built like a tank. And this, this is what I'm going to eventually move to. I started today. That bag there is extremely heavy shoulder strap. It wasn't so bad, but like I said, you're bogged down. You can't carry equipment back with you. There's a lot of stuff I couldn't fit down into the bag because ne necessary tools were in there. And things like my multimeter were just kind of crammed in the top, which isn't a good idea, especially when you put your bag down. Somebody can just walk off with your meter because it's just floating around on top. So anyway, this is what I'm moving to. I'm going to go to the Milwaukee Packout system. You see right here, I've got the 10 inch Milwaukee Packout tote. I've got it stuffed with my most necessary items. Look at that. It detaches from the cleats in the top. There's a tiny little button down the bottom down there. And this guy, I'd say that this is probably half the weight of that one because a lot of the items I was able to fit inside. So let's take a look. Eventually, I'm going to change this out and I'm going to have different packs, say one for lights and booms, one for surgical tables, maybe one for PM kits. And depending on what you're going to do, you're going to slap it on the rolly chest, which is also a built in heavy duty dolly. This thing is just incredible. And there's one other feature about this guy that you might not have considered. and strap this guy down. This guy in the field this guy in the field is also a step if you gotta fix something on the ceiling. Look at this. This is as sturdy as it gets. So that gives me easily two feet off the ground in case I gotta adjust a lighter boom or something. I can use it as a step. Even though they say no step Eh, the hell with them. It still works just perfectly fine. And if you wanted to spread your weight, they have a Milwaukee work surface that kind of slaps in here. It's got a half inch MDF top. That would spread your weight over the, the top even better so you could use that as a step. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. Let's see what I got. Okay. In the top, you can see I got zip ties. I've got some tie down straps because you either want to secure equipment or you want to lift the shrouds on a surgical table to work on it. I've got my level, a couple of things, safety glasses, earplugs, definite necessity, outlet checker, my Loctite. You guys know I like Loctite. A level. Sometimes you got to use a level for like lights and booms to make sure that they're uh, mounted equally. If you got some light drift. Screwing them down a little bit tighter won't help you if it's mounted off level. Let's see what else we got. Oh man, I got some fuses, some fasteners, a micro switch, 9 volt um, power jack. Never know when you're going to need it. I've got some security bits. Oh my gosh, look at this guys. Surgeon's gloves. They're twice as rugged as standard nitrile gloves. I keep them because they're in a nice pack. They fit in so beautifully. There's dividers that you can take out. Extra micro switches. Some Zeiss wipes for when you're cleaning microscopes. 
jumpers. I think I did a video previously about using jumpers when you're troubleshooting. would help if I put them in correctly. These guys right here, they got a latch, so you squeeze up on it, pull it, pull it off to the side. Look at this. I'm doing all this one-handed. It's not so bad. Oh, guys, this is beautiful. Extra battery, another tie-down, more rubber gloves. I'm really big on those. You can see right here, I've got a 300 watt xenon bulb. You never know when you find a light source that's going out or the hours are expired while you're in the field. Change them out. I've got some bit kits. I've got my drill, my impact driver, my beautiful fluke multimeter. I have a battery powered oscilloscope. And look at this. I've got a parts kit full of different AC input modules. I got some power switches in there various types of switches I have an 8 foot power cord and look at that guy down there that's a 16 or 18 foot cord pretty much everything I need for a day in the field These surfaces also work excellent if I'm going to transport equipment. I can put the device on here, use one of my tie downs, tie it down. There's a tie down right there, goes up and around, strap something down and I can wheel it back to the shop. This cart is absolutely fantastic. Not only does it have side handles that you can grab it if you need help loading it in a truck, but if you need to tie down a piece of equipment, you can go from here crosswise over the sides. There's so many different mounting options up here. There's the 10 inch, there's a 15 inch, there's a 20 inch tool bag. Let's take a look at what I got in the tool bag. Oh, you can see I've got some small screwdrivers. I've got my cleaning brush. I love that thing. Uh, man, I use this little wrench right here often for tanks, gas tanks, cylinders. Um, inspection mirror, magnetic retriever. I told you guys about this little fluke AC detector, uh, micro screwdriver set, uh, hammer, oh man, you guys seen this guy in a video, my expanding screwdriver, haven't seen this in a video yet, this is a magnetic USB powered flashlight, look at this, it goes to a 90 degree so that I can slap it up on something when I'm working, this guy, such an excellent little flashlight. But it fits nicely right here. Put it right there in the slot. Extra pen. Haven't done a video on these guys yet. These uh, South Ford MPXS-32. This is a lock picking set. And I haven't ever discussed this in any videos, but believe it or not, sometimes you gotta pick locks to, when you get into an area. Uh, let's say you've got a cabinet, a video cabinet or something, and you can't get in to service your equipment because they didn't give you a key, well, that's all right. I can get in. That's something that you guys probably didn't know about me. I've got a history of being reasonably good at picking locks. Teflon tape, as I said in another video, absolute necessity. I have, let's see. I'm sorry guys, I'm dropping stuff all over the place. <sighs> My level one silicone lubricant. This stuff is fantastic. You can use it on anesthesia machines. You can use it on your level ones. You can use it on all sorts of rubber. And you can also use it on some stainless steel surfaces if you want them to glide nice and smoothly. You put a little bit on your fingers on a rubber glove and uh, wipe a very, very thin layer on the outside of like surgical table shrouds that are kind of marring each other when they're going up and down. Just put a thin layer of that on there and it's buttery smooth. It's fantastic. Oh, let's see, what else do I got in there? Oh, all my different wire strippers, my precision cutters. I've got, oh yeah, needle nose, my zip tie gun. You guys know I love that thing. I got other bit kits down there, uh, my Allen wrenches, very important. But really, this is very basic, absolute basic. 
because I want it to be lightweight and portable. If I park this outside an operating room or outside a patient room or something, I can grab this guy real quick, go into the room, do what I gotta do, come back out, slap it on here and wheel it off. We're good to go. So anyway guys, maybe next spring they're coming out with a set of a three drawer for the Milwaukee lockout or the packout kit. And uh, when they come out with the three drawer set, I'll probably reorganize again and uh, I'll show you guys what I've come up with then. But this system is going to be absolutely awesome. When you're in a medical campus as big as mine, I'll tell you, every little advantage to saving time and energy is going to be such a huge plus. And the ability to wheel equipment back as soon as, I mean, if you're in the field doing PMs and you see that something's messed up and you want to take this, you wheel it all the way back here to the shop, fix it. I'll tell you, this guy's going to save so much time. Anyway, that is my new tool system. It's awesome. I love it. Um, I'll be trying it out over the next couple weeks. Might fill you guys in on my findings. I'm gonna configure it again and again until I get it right. But uh, the other thing, the other plus about this, I didn't mention this, guys. This is plastic, and it's it's a it's a very very thick plastic. It's amazingly strong. But this is COVID, guys. We want to be able to wipe stuff down when we come in and out of an an area. And my old tool bag, I couldn't exactly do that. That's the thing is the bottom of the tool bag, it's it's kind of soft. It's got some little rubberized feet, but it's still soft. You just set it down. You don't know what you just set it on, but you set it down, you do what you gotta do, and then you leave the room. Your bag could contaminate whatever else you're going to. This thing here, I could actually wipe it down. It's plastic. It's wonderful, man. It's also waterproof. I can put it in the back of my truck. There might be some uh, big career-wise things coming up very soon. And uh, I might be a little more on the road than I'm used to. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, I'm in, currently investigating some uh, future possibilities for some career changes because I've been doing operating rooms for a long, long time. And I might be looking for a change. But anyway, more on that later. Thanks for watching. Happy Friday, guys. Hope you have a good weekend. Pretty sure I'm going to. I hope so. Thanks for watching.